I'm going to show you how to make this darling baby blanket that has these mitered corners. Uh, the back becomes the binding and it's super easy to make, so let's get started. You will need uh, some pins, a pencil, scissors, a point turner, a straight edge ruler, an iron, an ironing mat, a sewing machine, and then of course the fabric. Okay, so this piece right here I'm going to use for the top, and it is 30 inches by 40 inches. Um, now this one that I previously did, I used the front the same, 30 by 40, and the back I did 40 by 50, and it made this wide border like this. Uh, for this one, I wanted to try doing something a little smaller of a border, so my back piece is 36 by 46, and that's going to create a smaller... Um, binding. Uh, you can do, you can change this up however you want. Make them bigger or smaller. You can make it square instead of a rectangle, uh, but the principle is the same. So to get started, we're going to take our top piece and we're basically we're going to find the center of each piece and just put a pin in it. So we'll do that side. And every side, we will find the center. We will do this for the front and the back. Okay, so we have all of the centers marked with a pin. And we're going to take our back and place it right side up on the table. Our front, our top, we will, we're going to put place right side down. So right sides are together and the rectangle is going to face, so the long way is this way for both of them. And then basically what we're going to do is we're going to find the center of both pieces and use one of those pins to attach it. Now, um, let's see. Now I'm just going to keep pinning from that center piece out in both directions. Now you're going to have a lot of extra on the back and that's fine, that's how it's supposed to be. Now with your last one, if you want to use your pin to mark a quarter of an inch, um, that's where you're going to stop when we sew. And so that's that can be helpful if your pin is right there and you know where, right where to stop. So we'll just continue on the other side of this center all the way to the other end. Just lining up the edges. And just going straight down the side. And again, you're going to have some extra and that's okay. That's what it's supposed to be. So we'll just flip and move to the other, to the next spot. Now you'll see that over here it's lined up but the center dots are not lined up. So we have to move the back piece to center it with the top piece. Now we're going to start from the center and move out. We're gonna have a little bit of a bunchy weirdness, but that's okay, that's what's supposed to happen. And then again, as you get to the end, you're just gonna make it, uh, use your pin and mark about a quarter inch. And that's um, just your little reminder of where to stop sewing. And we'll continue all the way around the blanket on all four sides doing the same thing.
All right, so we have all our ends pinned together and it's a little bit wonky on the ends with these flaps, but that's okay, that's what it's supposed to be like. So next we're going to take it to the sewing, sewing machine and we will do a straight stitch along all the sides, leaving an opening for turning. Okay, we're going to start in the middle a little bit. Now, I want to leave an opening, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove that pin I'm going to start at this pin right here, and when I get to this pin, then I'll know that I'm done, and that will leave an opening right there for turning. So we're just doing a straight stitch about a quarter of an inch from the edge, and I'll just do a quick little back stitch um, at the beginning and the end. When we get to the end, we want to make sure that the back is not folded up underneath to get caught in the seam. We're going to go right to the one quarter inch from the edge. So right where we put that little pin is where we're gonna go and then we will back stitch right about there. Back stitch a little bit. Okay, and we'll flip the fabric and we'll just make sure that the back is flat and there's not any extra fabric under there that's not supposed to be. And start one quarter of an inch away from the edge and sew one quarter of an inch from the side. So this is our last pin right here. Okay, so now we'll spread our blanket out. Now you'll see that we have these, these flappy ends. So to, in order to fix that, we're gonna start like this. See our blanket's a corner like this. We're going to take it and put those edges together, bring them to a point. So if you have your square, you're going to just bring the edges together to a point. Now, get all the fabric laying flat. This is where you need your straight edge and your pencil. So just make sure that that is like this. Then we're going to take this and place it on this edge right here, the folded edge. and then along where the seam ends right here. So we're going to put this right here, and then we're just gonna draw a line right here. Now this is where we sew. And we'll just sew just a straight stitch right along that line. Okay, so we've sewn along our line here. We're just gonna cut the extra off just about a quarter of an inch away, and we'll repeat with all the corners. So just one more time. It's a square. We're going to fold the edges onto themselves to make a point like this. Now, my corners don't always line up perfectly and it turns out good in the end. So don't worry about that if they're just a little off like that. It will still work. Now you put your ruler along the folded edge and then where the, the seam ends right here, that's where you draw your line. Then we'll sew along it. And then we'll just trim a quarter of an inch away and continue on the last two corners. Okay, so the next step is to turn this right side out. So let's find our hole here, and we will just get 
the pretty side out and all our seams inside. So this is where I like to use the point turner. Um, just on these corners. And you can use a pencil to, uh, mechanical pencils work well because then you don't have to have the lid um, or the lid of a pen maybe could work if you don't have a point turner. But just get those little points of the corners out with the point turner. Okay, so next, so next we're going to iron, and I just like to grab both ends and kind of stretch it flat, and then I know that's where the end is. And if we press it down, then it's going to stay in place as we sew it together. I want this part to be folded under and the gray to be like that. Okay, so now all that's left is to go around, all the way around, we'll start here at the opening to make sure it's shut. And we'll go all the way around. You can just do a straight stitch, you could, but you're just going to go all the way around and make sure we catch this opening right here. So there you have it, a self-binding blanket. The back becomes the border on the front. Super easy to do and so darling. Thanks for watching.